Good morning. Welcome to Thursday. Coffee is ready. I'm ready for coffee. Let's go. Excited to play some magic. I didn't play a whole lot yesterday. Even though I streamed, it was all opening packs. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to actually play. I enjoyed yesterday morning. I went two and one, so that was nice. <laughs> Well, uh, it's 3.30, just got home. I, the day flew by, very productive, got a lot done. But I don't remember the last time I vlogged. It might have been the drive to work. Sorry, let me double check here. I'll check my phone. Uh, yep, didn't vlog at all. So, hi, good afternoon, good evening. Um, getting ready to head over to the gym. My brother's on his way over here right now. He's using my printer real quick, print some stuff up, probably for the kids. Um, They'll, everyone's starting school. And my niece, Victoria, is trying out for volleyball. So very excited about that. Uh, cross fingers, she makes a team and does volleyball, very cool. Kids are out back to school shopping. Um, I thought they were doing it earlier in the day, which they did, but I thought Tiffany was gonna be joining them. She just called me and was like, hey, I see that you're, uh, you're almost home. We're gonna meet up at Tanger Outlets to shop if you wanna join us. And I'm like, I thought that, that was like the plan for the day. I thought you guys were doing that for the day. Didn't realize it was gonna be like at three o'clock in the afternoon. I would've tried to change my day around a little bit or at least know, brought a fair set of clothes and met you at, I'd already driven by and was already almost home. I was like, so, um, so yeah. So Tiff's gonna be out with the kids uh, shopping. The kids were already at the mall shopping and they're gonna meet up at the outlet mall uh, for more and Tiff's gonna join them there. So, I'm gonna go to the gym, come back home, probably do a little, little short little stream. Um, Cam decided if I wanna do magic or YouTube. I, I wanna play magic, but YouTube is more of just chatting. And because I have the house to myself, I might just do that. No stream tomorrow because we're going to Flagstaff, so. Um, and then dinner, Tiff, uh, Sierra brought me home uh, some beer cheese soup from, from her work. And I'm gonna make like a beer cheese loaded tots for dinner with some leftover uh, tri-tip from this weekend, beer cheese, some green onions, some sour cream. It's gonna be phenomenal. So excited. Stay tuned. I made the mistake of not eating anything today. Again, like I said, the day just flew by. It was very productive, so it was hard to stop. At one point I was like, ooh, maybe I'll go grab like some Sonoran hot dogs, but I went right back into work mode. So I know what I'm doing for dinner, but it's like I said, 3.30, I'm starving. One good thing about the kids going out to eat all the time, there's always leftovers in the fridge. And funny enough, neither one of them really do leftovers. Sierra specifically, she'll bring leftovers home and then never eat them. Now the problem is she brings home stuff that's really hard to reheat. Like there's a Chipotle bowl, I got really excited. Like, ooh, Chipotle. It's got sour cream and guac. It's all brown and mushy and the lettuce is all melting. Like that's not gonna be good reheated. There's some taquitos and little mini chimis and all these like crispy things. They've been in the fridge for like two days and now they're all soggy. I'll try, don't get me wrong, I still try, but it's just not like things where it's like pasta or like Asian rice, anything that's like easily reheated. It's never that. It's always weird stuff like that. Even this is a Taco Bell, like some kind of cheesy beef and bean burrito. But tortilla is hard, you know, it's not as good. Back from the gym, a little longer than I wanted it to be, but I was kind of distracted looking up stuff on my phone between work, between uh, reps. But we got the workout in, got all three done this week, feel good. Definitely, I don't know, man, I, I don't know how to explain it. If you work out on a regular basis, you know what I'm talking about. I just, I'm sore and I still don't love it. I still don't like, oh, like, I can't wait to go do it, but I'm starting to feel 
better. I've told, I said this the last couple of weeks, I feel like I have more energy. I'm definitely like more tired at the end of the night, but I'm getting solid sleep. I'm waking up, no problem. Most of the time before my alarm goes off, I have tons of energy, you know, like everything's just, everything's just firing right now. Um, but I don't hate it. I don't dread it. And the compliments have started coming in. So I, I made sure that I complimented the hell out of Tiffany. Maybe it was like the four month mark or five month mark or something like that. I don't remember exactly when, how long she's been working out, but she started working out, you know, January 1st, just boom. And she's been going strong for now seven months. But I remember at some point I, 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 I just started complimenting her, letting her know that I had noticed a change, both physically as well as just her overall like, um, like composure and just her energy, like everything just was better. But obviously on a physical level, she looks like you can tell that she's working out. She feels different. Like, and I made sure to compliment her and let her know that I've noticed these changes. So, you know, like, keep it up, girl. You're like, this, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you. This is amazing. Like, you know, keep going. So here I am seven weeks in, eight weeks in, and I, I've started to get, I've got a couple compliments. It's like, okay, I guess it's working. I, I don't feel like I don't look at myself and go, oh yeah, totally. Look at that. Not yet. Not yet. It's not there yet. But like I said, I feel great. And if other people start noticing, then I guess it's there. So win-win. But like I said, I don't hate it. I don't dread it. I don't, you know, I don't want, I don't want to go. Like I said, I, I have very easy. It's very easy just to not go to the gym, but I also, like, I have this app and it's like, I'm following the app and it's like, you got to keep going with the workouts because all you're doing is prolonging you know, it's a 12 week program. I've skipped a week. There was a couple weeks where I only did two workouts instead of three. So it, you know, one, one week's workouts went spread across two weeks. And so it's more than a 12 week program at this point. So that's why I want to kind of keep it going so I can keep up the program. Try to get some kind of physique going before summer ends. You know what I'm saying? Today we're going to do uh, chocolate peanut butter. And then I'm going to do a live stream here on YouTube. Um, you know, probably 30, 45 minutes or so, maybe an hour tops uh, while I cool down post-workout. So the VOD will be up on the channel if you wanna go check it out. We have this at Hollister Tanger. Got this at Tilly's, just a basic shirt. Mom kind of found it and I was like, eh. Then I changed my mind and I was like, I'll go for it. But then it was buy one, get one half off, right? So then mom felt obligated to buy this one. I had to go to the bathroom, so I left and then I came back and she said, we got you another shirt. So just two kind of basic color shirts. Got this one at H&M, it was only 10 bucks, so I was like, oh, why not? It's another basic color shirt, it's like brown, but it feels like a towel, I feel it. Hmm. I like it, it's comfy, it's heavy. And then, yeah, Ohio State from Hollister. Yeah, I, I almost went with um, either Oregon or Miami, University of Miami, like green, but then I like the red, because I can go with my shoes a little bit. My shoes got a little bit of red. Got some shorts, some jean shorts, some Ford, Ford jorts, <laughs> some cargo pants, some gr like dark gray cargo pants, some cargo jeans, and then just some basic like sweat, sweat pant shorts. Back to school hall. And then some cologne and bath and body stuff. Cologne, vanilla noir. And Sierra got some new stuff too. I did. What you going on? Um, so from PacSun, I got a really good deal. I got all three of these jean bottoms for $44. Because it was like buy one, get two free. So these ones are like flare jeans. I don't really own flare jeans, but they fit really well. So I think I might try them and I like them. Okay. And these are just basic jean shorts. And then this is something new too. Never had one of these jean skirts before. But I tried it on, I didn't hate it, and I know it's a style right now, so I'm like, I just need to style it right, and I think I could pull it off, so. And again, the fact that I got all three of them for $44, I thought it was pretty good. And then I just, I actually already have a couple of these tank tops in different colors, so I just got some, because I know I like them, and I know I'll wear them. And some more colors. Found some rings, Vanilla Romance, that's a new one, I haven't seen it before. And I officially joined the Stanley crew. I, had a, I still have my Hydro, I still use my Hydro, but I was like, my friends have Stanley's, and I was like, it seems nicer for like when you're in the car, like yep. it's in the cup holder, has a handle, it's easier to use while you're driving instead of like twisting on the lid for like a Hydro, totally. so I like the color. It's more practical. Yep. 
Nice little haul, guys. Very nice. Try them on? Mm-hmm. What do you think? I like them. I, I want to... Like, I definitely want to wear these in the first day of school, so I'm trying to figure out which, uh, which shirt to wear with it. Maybe if none of these really work out, I can just wear a shirt I already have with it. I like the, uh, the light color. So funny. Baggy, baggy shorts and pants are coming back in style. Mm -hmm. So funny. <laughs> Skinny jeans were back in the 80s, and now you're in the 90s. <laughs> That's totally what you guys are in right now. I really get wonder how that happens. Like, who determines the start of it? How does it just become the thing again? I think it's because enough time has passed that you didn't know they existed. And then you see an old picture of your mom and dad. You were like, like I see that on TikTok, on Instagram all the time. Like my dad was a stud and it's like no shirt on, corduroy pants, big bushy mustache and like an Afro. Like my dad, my dad, you see some old photos of my dad. He had big, thick hair, poofy hair, big ass mustache. I've seen a couple yeah. Pictures. You know, button down shirt with your hair sticking out. Like that was a style back then. Like it was, ooh, it was like sexy, like Burt Reynolds, you know, Tom Selleck, that kind of thing. Um, so I think enough time passes that you don't, you haven't seen that style. Mm -hmm. So now you look at it and you're like, oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Usually celebrities, right? Or models. Yeah. That's how it starts. Someone that you look up to wears it and you're like, oh, I like, I like that style. I want to look like so-and-so. All right. I got a quick shower in. Kids are putting away their clothes. Bryce was trying on all his. Now Sierra's trying on hers. Sierra's, uh, Tiffany's home and we're all making dinner. Bryce got a quesadilla. And my habanero jack cheese and the leftover tri-tip and i making tachos with my leftover uh tri-tip and uh we're gonna throw some beer cheese on that got beer cheese soup i'm gonna throw that on top um, might need another minute and there we have it tater tots tri-tip beer cheese Sour cream and green onions. Oh yeah. Nine o'clock, got my orders in. Um, still technically waiting on two more people. They'll probably send me their orders either in the next hour while I'm in bed, or they'll remember first thing in the morning and I'll get them you know, later. But anyway, um, got on untap.gg, looking at some, the meta is starting to form. Uh, it doesn't show the actual meta, but it shows the colors, which is exciting because at least you can see the new decks that are forming. So uh, I think by the week, by Monday, we'll have a, a, a pretty good grasp on what's working with the new set. So I'm excited about that. Excited to see that because I've already seen some new stuff. And I'm like, ooh, but um, lots of new cards, lots of new cards that I have to use my wild cards for, which I'm not quite ready for. I'm not quite ready to use them all yet. I want to kind of figure out which decks I really want to lean into and build before I waste them all. Uh, anyway, gonna brush my teeth, go to bed, we got one more day of work, and then our trip to Flagstaff. Tiff's not going into work tomorrow, she's gonna stay here and get everything ready, packed, grocery shopping, all that good stuff. And uh, I'm gonna try and get out of work at a decent time, get home, change, and we're heading up to Flagstaff, so stay tuned. Tomorrow will be the road trip up there and tour of the campgrounds, the cabin, all that good stuff. Saturday will be in Flagstaff. Sunday, question mark. I'm not sure yet what we're doing Sunday. Obviously we check out, but I don't know what we're doing for Sunday. So yay, travel vlogs. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are as well. We'll see you then.